Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and I want to welcome you all to Collaboween. This is a collaboration I'm hosting to make a piece of Halloween home decor for $10 or less. I'm pairing up with six other really amazing creators here on YouTube. I want to extend a special thanks to all six of you ladies. I am so excited to see what you've all made and honored that you would join me in this collaboration. So we're all going to be putting videos together in a playlist. It will be linked down below in the description of this video. So please be sure to visit it so you don't miss any of their wonderful creations. Now let's get right into what I made for this year's Collaboween. This is my second year decorating for Halloween and I'm just trying to build my decor stash and not spend a ton of money. So I was pretty excited about recreating something I had shared with you all during our Hobby Lobby shop with me. Now I really love the vintage feel of all of the Halloween decor I've been finding at places like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and I was really excited to try and recreate this because the version from Hobby Lobby is $25. So this is the version they put out this year. It is slightly different from the one last year. And this is my version. So it's basically just a little jack-o'-lantern up on a pedestal. And I'm just gonna call him the pumpkin man. Now let me show you what you'll need to make your own pumpkin man. So I did paper mache a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I've never papered mache outside of elementary school and it was pretty easy. I could have just painted the pumpkin, but I wanted it to have that vintage look and feel. You'll also need a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and any kind of pedestal or candle holder you have on hand. So you'll need some paint in your choice of orange and black some paint brushes and scissors, a hot glue gun, some cardboard and ribbon. And I did not use the paper. Let's just pretend that's a black boa that you can pick up at the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. So to paper mache, you'll need one cup of flour to one cup of water, some cut up newspaper, and you're just gonna put your water and flour together to make a little batter. It'll be very similar to pancake batter. Go ahead and remove your stem, wet your newspaper, and begin your paper mache. It is messy and you may wanna do it outdoors. Continue layering your newspaper until you have covered the entire surface of the pumpkin and set it aside to dry. Now we're going to use our cereal box or cardboard to make a witch's hat. You're gonna to wanna to create a cone. I just glued mine together with a hot glue gun and a few staples. Cut off the end to make it the appropriate size and I'm using a kitchen plate as the base of my witch's hat. I'm cutting out two circles out of more cardboard and save those scraps. We're gonna use those to make risers so that our witch's hat is three-dimensional. I used four of these pieces of scrap to kind of make this a wide-brimmed witch's hat. Once you have those two pieces glued together, it's time to attach your cone. I just simply hot glued it onto the top, right in the middle, and now it's time to paper mache our hat. The edge of the hat is what we're going to start covering and you can continue to cover the entire surface of your hat, top and bottom, until it looks like this. Now it's time for it to dry along with your pumpkin. So we're gonna walk away for a day, let them thoroughly dry before we paint them. In the meantime, I'm giving my pedestal a fresh coat of black paint. 
Now magically, our hat and pumpkin are nice and hard and also ready to paint. For the witch's hat, I just used black and I did end up giving it more than one coat, letting it dry in between. Same thing for my pumpkin. I used this color from Michaels called Burnt Orange by Craftsmart. Gave it a couple of coats, letting it dry in between. Now it's time for our face. Pick the absolute best part of your pumpkin and maybe pull up a picture for inspiration. I'm using last year's version from Hobby Lobby as kind of a template. Now you're going to want to allow for tea so that you can have a fun little quirky smile. This can be a little difficult. I just figured out it was best to make little squares and paint around them. Once your smile is complete, it's time for the nose. That was definitely the easiest part. I just did a triangle. Now when it came to the eyes, I really like the Hobby Lobby version. So I made a tall, narrow triangle and I made a letter C in the middle of the eyeball. So I'm not gonna paint the inside of the C, I'm just gonna connect the lines on the outside. It kind of gives it the look of a pupil and I really like it. For the ruffle, I used some ribbon from Dollar Tree. I cut off one edge, which is wired, and just wove it in and out with a needle and thread to create a ruffle. Now my hat is nice and dry, and I decided to add some ribbon and feather boa that I picked up at my 99 cent store to my hat. I just used a little bit of hot glue because these feathers melt pretty quickly. Just a little bit will go a long way. Now for the ribbon, I had this. It was in my scrap pile, something I picked up for a dollar in the bins at Michael's. Now it's time to attach all your things together. First, I started with the ruffle on the bottom of the pumpkin and a little bit of hot glue. Then you simply glue your pumpkin face onto your pedestal. And once that's dry, you can attach your hat. If I had it to do all over again, I would have cut a hole in the top of the hat there so it fit a little more snugly on the pumpkin man's head. But other than that, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I originally had thought I was going to use some scrapbook paper on the cone part of the hat, but once I had it painted black, I just really liked it. Now, if you're a little lost or not familiar with using a needle and thread to recreate the ruffle, you can always just fold it up and hot glue it on. I think you would get the same effect that I did. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I came up with for my Halloween decor DIY for Collaboween. I hope you guys are able to go check out all the other ladies' videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon in the next video.